Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we are going to be going over functions in SAS. Now, in the last video about mixins, I said that mixins are similar to the functions uh, in other languages, as in they have a name and they take parameters and then they return a value of sorts, um, meaning they generate a list of CSS rules. But there are actual officially named functions in SAS that, but instead of generating CSS rules, they generate, they, they work in primitive values, um, like numbers or uh, percentages or colors. So let's take a look at what some of these functions look like. I'm going to be playing around with this element here. This is the element with the class of soft box. Put that over here and it has a background color of gray. But I decided that I want the gray to be a little bit lighter. So instead of changing the variable value, because I use the value in other places, um, I can just use this function here. I can say lighten this gray color by how much? Oh, maybe a 10%. Come over here, refresh, and it gets lightened by 10%. If we come over here and look in our CSS that was generated, well, let's see, the original value of gray was 333, and it generated 4D, 4D, 4D. So I guess that must be gray lightened by 10%. We can go all the way up, uh, we can go 20% and all the way up to 100%. And then we just get pure white or 0% will not lighten it at all. Of course, we have the inverse function as well, darken. We can darken it by um, 1%. And it's not too much of a difference. Um, darken it by 10%. Starting to see difference. That's all cool. All right, so we have lighten and darken. And... Uh, now we have some that deal with opacity. We have transparentize, which will add opacity to a color, make it more transparent. So I'm going to add 0.1 uh, units of opacity. So that effectively converts it into, um, it, it'll subtract one from full opacity. So we get 0.9. Now we can see through there a little bit, and we can go all the way up to transparentize the color completely, and then there's, you can't really see it very well. Okay, and then of course we have the inverse, which is opacify in this case, but um, gray is already at full opacity, so I'm gonna use RGBA. I'm just gonna make a color here, um, 255, 45, and um, 98. I don't even know what color that is. And then, oh, and add opacity, of course. <laughs> um, half opacity. And then, uh, why don't we opacify it by 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay, save, see what it comes up with. It adds 0.2 to the opacity, so we get 0.7. And refresh, and perfect. All right, well, enough playing around with that. Now let's move on to some other functions. And for this time around, I'm going to be playing with this blue color here. So the first one I want to show you is complement, which will just generate the complement of the color for us. Come around and refresh, and that is a nice spiffy orange. We also have invert, which is kind of similar to complement. It can sometimes generate the same results, but in this case, you see the absolutely inverted color is a bit darker orange in this case. So get rid of those. And now we'll move on to my, well, one of my favorite color functions for this. I'm going to define the color green. And I'm going to say it's um, 1, 3, F. That should give us, oh, what am I doing? Green is the second one. 1, F, 3 is what I meant. There we go. 
All right, now if I come down here, we have this function called mix, and we can mix our blue and green together and get this nice pastel, what is that, a uh, sea foam like mm, pastel green color? I don't know. But then the mix function also provides this special feature, which is we can choose the percentage in which we want to mix. This percentage is applied to the first color. So we have 30% of the blue in here um, and then 70% of the green. So it's going to be more green than blue. Or we can go the other way around, say 70% of the blue and only 30% of the green, and it'll be more, more blue. In this case, it's like a robin's egg blue or something like that. But you can have a lot of fun with these functions. You can uh, play around with them. You can nest them. So if I wanted maybe the complement of our blue, which was the orange, to mix with the green, that'll work. And then we get this interesting color. <laughs> Anyways, there are so many more useful functions that SAS provides for you to use. So I'm going to provide a link in the description for you guys to go and check out the whole list. You can also define your own functions in SAS, but that is another topic for another video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something from this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jacob and have a good one.